be nice. All right. Uh, so we're going to do, we saw this reaction, something like this reaction a little earlier, but the reverse. Uh, we've got the data here. Here's the concentration for the reactants. It's, the reactants are always given. You've got uh, the overall rate, molarity per second. They even give you the rate law nicely. Uh, raised to the x and y power, so we're finding x and y, the order. We don't have to find k in this case, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it if you'd be interested. And we'll pick one of the answers. I didn't mention before, but orders of reactions will almost always be a whole number, a positive counting number. They can be negative, and they can be to a half order, or sometimes like a third order. Um, but they're usually going to be uh, counting numbers. Okay, uh, so we're going to try this one. I'll have to remove the question in order to uh, solve it here. And get blank page out. Okay, let me rewrite the rate law. It's rate equals K times NO to the X. Uh, O2 to the Y. Here we're using X and Y. If you use M and N, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm using X and Y because that's what the problem gave us. So, uh, I am looking for what two to compare. If you have the table written down now, which two rates are good ones to compare? Uh, okay, I heard one and two, and that's a great one. Again, it doesn't matter what you put in the numerator. I'll put 2 in the numerator. Uh, that'll cause the K to cancel. Uh, I'll write it anyway just for fun. So just copying this right out of the table right now uh, for reaction 2. And then right out of the table for reaction 1 on the bottom. Okay, and that'll cause some awesome stuff to cancel. Oh, let me also write the rates in there. The rates are 0 0.050. Uh, now, it doesn't matter which one to put in the numerator, which one to put in the denominator, but I do have a preference. Uh, you'll usually, except when I'm having fun, I guess, will put the one that has the larger rate in the numerator. That allows me to do this in my head a little bit easier. Uh, and that's the only reason. Uh, so, uh, if I do this, 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01, that's just 2 to the y power. And 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.0025, that's just 2. So y must equal 1. So the order of reaction with respect to O2 is 1. Okay, now let's do uh, the next one. What other two rates am I going to compare? Yeah, I'll compare 2 and 3. Uh, and I'm going to put, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, I'm going to put rate 3 on the top uh, because its rate is slightly larger, so it'll allow me to do this in my head a little bit easier. Uh, so that's K times 0 0.030 to the X, 0 0.020 to the Y, divided by k, 0 0.010 to the x, 0 0.020 to the y. Again, all these numbers from the table, 0 0.0450 and 0 0.0050. OK. And so a lot of good stuff cancels again. The k's cancel. And the, uh, basically, the o2's cancel. I get the y order to cancel. So, 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.01, that sounds like 3. So the x equals 0 0.045 divided by 0 0.005, that's 9. So x equals 2. Uh, and so there we go. The answer, uh, if you still have your first one, would have to be b. b is your answer. If the question also asked you to find k, uh, you'd pick your favorite number from 1 to 3. What's that for you? 
one. Okay, statement number is one. So we go rate one equals uh, 0.0025 from the table for the rate. That's in molarity per second uh, times 0.010 uh, squared times 0.010, the first power. Uh, oh, I forgot k. So you solve for k. I, I didn't solve for it, but it would have units similar to the previous problem we did, meters squared times over seconds. So again, this has an overall order of three. They don't always have an overall order of three, but it just happens for this one to be similar to the previous one we did.